Welcome. Welcome to rpay.org, which stands for Reimbursement Premium Adjusted Yields. It is nothing other than account-based healthcare, where you get to buy a deductible premium, then you qualify for health savings accounts. You can contribute, which is deductible, tax deductible, it's like an IRA, it's just like an IRA. Then after that, you keep on contributing every year. As a result of that, you are going to be empowered in taking care of your own health. Yes, you are empowered. So called for personalized, consumer driven health care. Folks, this is an opportunity for all of you to get involved and be active and be a part of account based health care. And all this time, the consumers have been ignored in healthcare delivery. This is the first time we have an opportunity to take the control back, take the control back, where we get to decide what we want. And healthcare is in your hands, not insurer's hands, it is in your hands. Thank you for listening. If you do like what I'm saying, do subscribe and share and make some comments. I would really appreciate that because this is my passion to spread the word on account-based healthcare. It's a non-profit organization. I'm not asking anything in return other than you subscribing and make people hear about consumer empowerment in healthcare. We have consumer empowerment in retail sector like Amazon, but not in healthcare. Healthcare, we, it is time has come to take back the control from the insurers. Let's go back to the individual certificate of guaranteed coverage. What is individual certificate of guaranteed coverage, which empowers you? It empowers you. I'll take you to a scenario. If someone, if it's yourself or someone you know, someone you know, wanting a health individual insurance, yes, individual insurance. In that case, applicant rejected for individual insurance who gets rejected for individual insurance for whatever the cause may be. It could be pre-existing condition. It could be uh, you know, economically impaired, physically impaired. It doesn't matter. But you are rejected by the insurance company. Then you get to challenge at no cost to you. At no cost to you, yes. That underwriting decisions with health review authority, which is under the public-private partnership. It, neither it is government control or controlled by the private corporation. It is a public-private partnership, folks. Health review authority is formed for under the public-private partnership. Let's see how it works. There are three potential actions the health review authority, health review authority can take. What are those actions? First, an applicant determined upon review by the health review authority to be insurable. Yes, to be insurable will be given a certificate of guaranteed coverage to secure affordable coverage 
at rates appropriate to his or her health status and history. Health status and history, yes. An individual certificate of guaranteed coverage can be taken to any participating carrier, insurance carrier, not just the original rejecting insurer for a guaranteed issue, for guaranteed issue, folks, and coverage of the pre-existing conditions. And premiums will be at a standard rates. Premiums will be at a standard rates with any premium rating not to exceed 10% over the standard premium not to exceed 10% of the standard premium or ten temporary benefit limits as deemed appropriate as deemed appropriate by the health review authority by the health review authority participating insurers must accept certificates of guaranteed coverage equal to the number of individual applicants they previously rejected for coverage. Yes, they were previously rejected. Carriers, insurance carriers, rejecting relatively good risks might find they are required to accept much worse risks much worse risks by balancing the application process. In this way, carriers will begin to accept more applicants and the industry under, underwriting standards will be voluntarily moderated by, it will be voluntarily moderated in favor of you, the consumer, yes in favor of you. Second, an individual determined to be insurable but in need of a financial assistance, financial assistance as determined by the state or federal law, to pay premiums will be given access to premium subsidized state or federal health insurance exchange. You see, they will be given certificate of guaranteed coverage, even for people who are economically impaired. They can't afford it. They will be given a certificate of guaranteed coverage, folks. Third, eligible individuals, eligible individuals determined to be uninsurable determined to be uninsurable are given access to impaired health support plans. Once, once an impaired health support plan is selected, insurers are no longer obligated to offer coverage to the applicant. They are no longer offered to, they are not obligated whatsoever. As you can see, certificate of guaranteed coverage. Anyone wanting individual insurance is guaranteed a plan even if they have a pre-existing conditions or in need of a financial assistance. See, this is what the difference is, folks. In conclusion, in conclusion, Individual certificate of guaranteed coverage empowers and guarantees everyone. Individual health insurance, even if they have a pre-existing conditions or in need of a financial assistance. Segmenting uninsurable individuals to the premium subsidized impaired health support plans can lower premiums for others by 15 to 20 percent. See, by having this 
health review authority monitoring under the public private partnership it benefits the consumer it protects the consumer it takes care of the consumer irrespective of their physical mental or economic status again this is all under the public private partnership there is no government involvement there is no private sector involvement folks if you like this channel you have to subscribe and do share and make some comments i would like others to share and i will be posting this in the facebook and twitter and all the social media sites please do subscribe and share this unique opportunity for all of you to take the control of your health or your health care back to you rather than the insurers or insurance companies thank you for listening i would love to hear your comments and i will see you in the next segment of rpay.org which stands for reimbursement premium adjusted yields is nothing other than buying a pre health insurance which is deductible low or high depending on your your basically your economic basically how much you can afford it then whatever you save on your premium put money aside into your own health savings accounts which you gets to empower yourself and take care of your health for the future healthcare needs for you and for your family i'm talking about 10 dollars a day folks and 20 dollars for the family which comes to which comes to 300 dollars a month and $600 for the family at a year end you will be contributing $3600 a year and $7200 for your family that goes a long way folks that goes a long way in 10 years that 36000 should be because they are tied to the index funds in the market so it will appreciate along with the market to i would say easy 50000 and that 72000 will be 100000 this is within 10 years folks this is and you have a 100% control nobody can take it away from you or your family thank you for listening we will see you in the next segment of rpay.org this is Consumers Dr. Bengal. Goodbye and God bless. Salute.